Liverpool has agreed a £37 million pound to sign man, uh, Cody Gakpo from PS Verdeven. And uh, that has uh, really shocked many Manchester United fans. And in this video, what I want to do is to explain to you guys why Manchester United didn't get Gakpo. Because you guys, I know most of you are in a very shocked situation, but some of you who have been following the channel and don't really understand how Manchester United operates will not be that shocked because I am not shocked. You know, I am not shocked. I know Gakpo wants to come to Manchester United. United has been the key team behind Gakpo, but there is a reason why Gakpo is not coming to Manchester United, why Manchester United did not sign Gakpo. It's not because Manchester United don't want to buy Gakpo. It's not like Manchester United is totally broke. But it's a reason which I'm going to explain to you guys now. So just listen to it. If you want to be a football fan of a club which you love, you need to understand the way the club works. It's not about just buying, showing things on, on, online. So uh, let me just go straight to it. So before I go, I just want to read you guys this from The Times, which is very important, guys. Guys, please make sure you smash a like on the video and share this video with fans because there's one thing to be angry. There's another thing to understand and be realistic. I'm not trying to support the Glazers. I, I despise these, these guys the way they have managed this club because Manchester United had to be the club with a lot of funds. But unfortunately, we are in a position here that we are on a minus. Technically not minus, but let me say, put it this way. Our operation, I say, I would say our operation funds are lesser than even teams like Leeds because we don't just have the money. We have been so mismanaged in the past decade by the Glazers, especially by this Ed Woodward guy, which honestly, this guy... I mean, if life is fair, this guy has to have, um, I'm not threatening him, it's, life is fair, this guy has to, I mean, to pay for this, for, for, for the way he has managed this club. Manchester United is presently, we are, we are a cash strip club, cash strip club, in a club which doesn't have money to buy players. I see all these idiots on Facebook. Sorry I call them idiots because they're just signing Gakpo, signing this, signing this player, signing Maradona who is not alive, signing Messi, just to, just to click um, to, to get clicks on, on, on articles. But this is why Manchester United cannot get Gakpo and this is why he didn't get Gakpo. If you look at the finance of Manchester United, normally at this period of time we would have had an operation uh, money of like close to 300 million pounds, right? But we don't have this money. Manchester United financial statement shows they do have only twenty four million pounds. And let's go, and to go and to get things from from fire to fry pan to fire, Manchester United. Just look at this. Cody Gakpo, right? PSV wanted to sell Cody Gakpo. PSG was fine about, I mean, the separation. They are even looking for, uh, I read an article in Holland all the other time with a, a, a previous footballer. I think I forgot, you know, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, uh, PSG are ready to sign Gakpo. They, uh, PSG are ready to sell Gakpo, sorry. And um, Manchester United, the agreement, the deal with Manchester United was on the table. They have had all this uh, understanding that this is what uh, they want. But the problem was that PSV wanted at least 60 to 70 percent cash up front this there is something you guys don't understand in when buying football players when you hear that manchester united has signed um a player from uh, real madrid let's say casemiro for 70 million it's not like this is 70 million casemiro you're in manchester united they paid in installments some clubs will, will want to pay such money with in five installments for the next five years. So it, if it's 70 million, you might, you might be paying by something like 15 or 10, between 10 and 15 million on a yearly basis. No clubs, like right? very few clubs will pay a full salary, a full transfer fee for a player. I work in transfer, in sports transfer. I work, it's an agent. So I know what I'm talking about. So, but the situation is that Spheres, they wanted all the full money. And they went to an extent and said, okay, the only, uh, the only, if we have to try to find common ground, say, we will need at least 70% of the money in which we sell Gakpo. If you see at this statement, Gakpo is sold for peanuts. 37 uh, million uh, pounds, sorry, it is peanuts in today's football in, in, in the British League, right? City bought the defender, 50, uh, the holding midfielder from Leeds, as uh, 50 million, who hasn't played a game? 50 million pounds. You're signing players just for one year contract for 50 million pounds in the UK. 
So you have to understand the problem was not money. The thing is that Manchester United wanted to pay this installment in five five installments, right? And PSV said no. And there's PSV is PSV's right to say no. Why? Because the issue here is not Manchester United. It's not PSV not wanting to give Manchester United. Put it in your head. Don't be angry with PSV. The issue is that Manchester United does not have money to spend to bring in players. This has given me a signal when I got this news, I got up in, late in the night and got this news about movement from David Onstein and a year we go from um, Fabrizio Romano, I understood one thing. And I want to tell you guys, fans, if you're watching this video, if you're uh, um, a fan of this, this channel, we don't do breaking news here. If you're a watcher, a watcher of my content, I try to be honest with you guys. And I want you guys to understand this. This summer, Manchester United will be going on loan deals. Loan deals will be trusting players. We'll be having these short deals. This has made me, immediately when I had this information, I clearly just knew one thing. I know Joel Felix will come to Manchester United. That's, that's already on the books. Because... And most of you even say yes, because yes, actually, I think he's a better player than Gakpo. But most of you will say yes, because Joao Felix is a, is a proper nine. Why Gakpo is an attacker, right? He can play his uh, utility attacker. I've done so, such videos on the channel. That's why I encourage you guys to subscribe, because my videos, I try to do that out of my heart, not because I just want to get views. So anyway, so um, Manchester United could not stand the, the, the fact that PSV wanted... Uh, at least 70% of the money up front. And you might ask the question, why do they want the money up front? The, it is very simple. It's due to inflation. We all know that the economic crisis, next year we might have a recession worldwide, right? And all these clubs do have financial specialists. They know they have people taking care of their finance. Espe Maybe United we don't have, you know, because United is a family club. Let's say things the way it is. It's not a... United is a family club. It's just like somebody's family business. Some, I don't want to say, I mean, I would say it, idiots running our club who don't even care about our club, you know. Let me not say running our club. Some idiots taking advantage of our club and putting both of us, I mean, you, the fans, me, everybody of the interest, the stakeholders in, in, in distress. The reason why we are not getting Gapro is because we bought players like because we had to do this this panic buying buying um the Souza right from PSV we had to do this panic buying buying the Chilean from uh, Arsenal we had to do we had this panic buying buying the Nigerian attacker for uh, and two years ago uh, doing Oli Oli Spira three years ago I think yeah because we have been doing panic buying big and the most important reason why we are not buying Gakpo is because we don't have a plan. Manchester United Football Club does not have a plan of operation. I think the person who gets up today and is really angry is Eric Ten Hag because he hasn't been backed. Eric Ten Hag has come out and made it clear. And this is a very, this is Eric Ten Hag has fall in the same situation which all the managers, since Sir Alex Ferguson, even when he was there, has fallen uh, into coming to Manchester thinking that we are just a normal club and now has realized that Manchester United has a lot of issues to settle. So I'm just very, I'm, I'm really gutted, honestly. I'm just controlling myself, but there's nothing we can do because uh, I think Gakpo was a player. You won't blame Gakpo. There is no assurance that Gakpo will is going to be um, a success at Liverpool. I wish him the best, but Liverpool has taken advantage of the situation. Liverpool understands that United doesn't have the money, so they have paid it up front. This was a player, this was a player which Manchester United had it on the plate. And now here, he will not be a United player. Because why do I say you're not going to be a United player? When I read the article, I was thinking like, okay, they just took it away from our nose, but let's see, maybe... Manchester United uh, will uh, maybe Manchester United uh, will just will just overpay today and and close the deal. But get this information: Liverpool last night has agreed a 35 million uh, move for Cody Gakpo, beating Manchester United in the race for the Holland attacker. This is what is important. The, um, um, the negotiation with PSV and the progress swiftly yesterday. Swiftly, swiftly, that's the word. Swiftly. United, I've been making videos I am United because we speak to people here. Yeah, we coordinate as United. Go, go, uh, Cody Gakpo, close, close, close. And United want to, United is just like, I mean, I'm, I, I don't want to express myself. I, I try to be very calm on the TV. Uh, but, well, well, as I said, 
uh, negotiations, with, uh, uh, negotiations with PSV end of end progress. Uh, sorry about that. Progress swiftly yesterday, and the medicals may take place in 24 hours. So it's over. Yeah, the fee is agreed 44 million, 44 million pounds. If the player and club met, uh, meets the, the bonus, that's it. That was uh, close there. If the transfer is completed, it will bolster club's option after the injury of Diaz, uh, Di uh, Diego Jota. Uh, Gakpo, which is 23 years, uh, played a left and enhanced his reputation in the World Cup with um, three goals in five appearances uh, as Holland reached the quarterfinals. Securing Champions qualification next season is now Liverpool's prior priority. And uh, aim to uh okay yeah yeah and aim to help by the three one win over Aston Villa that was last night yeah so okay yeah so you, you see so I think it's 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 gone I thought I thought it was one of those cases where you know what happened with Sanchez with um, when Sanchez was a, a player for um, for for um. Arsenal and Man City wanted Sanchez and uh, Manchester United just took the deal by giving him crazy money. I uh, What can I say with this? What I, what I can tell you guys, guys, about this deal is clear is that Manchester United will not be that team against splashing money. United will not want to be taken advantage of in the market. United will not be the same club uh, even when we sell to a wealthy uh, owner, which I think is going to recruit players for Ten Hag. I think Manchester United will get a different approach because we have had because for the past um, decade, uh, Ed Wood has uh, tarnished our reputation as very bad negotiator negotiators. We always go for everything. We don't really argue. We don't really have a plan in terms of bringing players that the manager wants. Because that's why we have been taking totally advantage in the market. So I don't like to make long videos on the channel and uh, I will condone you guys. Guys, if you learned something from this video, please make sure you smash a like on the video. If you want to be part of our community, I'll be glad to entertain you guys here. Today, we do have a watch along here. Manchester United is uh, hosting. We are hosting uh, Nottingham Forest. Lingadino, that's uh, JC Lingard, will be in Ultra for tonight. So I, I do uh, invite you guys. And guys, all of you who has, have subscribed, if you do watch these videos, please share them with other fans. Bring them in so we can... And have different opinion thank you Danny uh dinosaur uh, uh for this also this heads up uh, I um I'm thanks for all of you guys man creep prince and the rest I mean we have a fantastic small but fantastic community here yeah, that we we support each other and guys talking about support if you want to support uh my work here on the channel we do have um, buy me a coffee link here you click it you can get me a coffee while I'm in the studio here drinking that will be fine so anyway guys um Merry Christmas I will say this to the new year and a happy new year take it easy I am already started thinking that from tomorrow from today, you'll be hearing after the game, depending on how we play, if we win Nottingham, which I think we have to win Nottingham Hotspot today, Nothing, Nottingham Forest today, sorry. I think we will be hearing about um, our loan deals, number one on the list. I think Depay will be coming to Manchester United. I mean, I think Depay will be coming for Manchester United. 100 percent i'm thinking that united will be going on loan deals like short deals like the pie i think now i think felix will be a last minute deal also manchester united because liverpool has showed his intention of being in champions league united if we don't reinforce this january we will not qualify for champion League, and only two years in a row and um i think that is a reason why nobody's talking about this i think that is a reason why those the future owners want to know where united is and uh, that will affect the value of the club if united doesn't qualify for champions league i think that is why they they agreed on march this is something many haven't grasped but this is what i just came out from my mind today so tell me what you guys think are you guys guys very disappointed with Gakpo not being a united player are you guys disappointed with um, the Liverpool's move? Are you guys really, I mean, you don't care about that? And uh, do you, what do you think about uh, Gakpo is history now for Manchester United? And what do you think about Manchester United? Which player should they bring? Should we focus on Felix, the attacker, for a loan? The loan is quite expensive, honestly. Felix's loan is as expensive, uh, if not a little bit, as uh, Gakpo's uh, contract to Liverpool, but it's just a loan for one season. But well, guys, thanks again, and thanks for all of you supporting the channel. Every time you watch this video, just a like helps the video to bring you somebody else, so keep doing that. Have a nice day, and uh, see you later in the evening, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.